Hey guys, and welcome to today's video. Today, I am coming at you from the Target parking lot. Sorry for all the stuff in my car. I have to make some uh, Goodwill trips, but anyways, today I'm gonna be working on a couple of super easy, super cheap DIY projects for my house. I had these ideas last night um, for a couple of ways to add some decor to my walls, and there's a couple things that I need to get from Target. So I'm gonna run in here and grab the supplies, and then I'll kind of show y'all how I put everything together and how it turns out in my house. So this should be a super short, simple video, but I hope it inspires you to kind of dig deeper and think a little bit more about how you can create something totally custom and unique for your home instead of just buying something and hopefully you save a little bit of money. So anyways, just keep watching. Okay, so I'm just sitting in my dining room wanting to show y'all what I picked up at Target. Um, I went in for, you can see this window pane behind me. The idea I have with that is that I'm going to be printing. Um, I was trying to figure out how to do something creative on it besides just like throwing a wreath on it. And I decided since there's nine little panes or little windows that I was going to print the nine fruits of the spirit um, and put those on it. And so I bought cardstock and then I'm just gonna get the printable on Etsy and print them. I'm a little worried about cutting it like perfectly square, but anyway, so I bought cardstock for that. And then I bought clothespins and little mounting square tapes. So basically what I'll do is I'll take the little clothespins, mount them with the sticky tape on the center of each pane and then clip the printout. That's my idea for this window pane. So that's why I went to Target. And then I also went because in our kitchen, I wanted to do something, some kind of flat artwork on the wall next to the door so that when the cabinet opens, it doesn't hit anything. I, I couldn't do shelves. So um, I decided I'm going to take a couple of pages out of um, one of my cookbooks and put them in frames. So I bought two of these frames and I'm just gonna hang them like this. These were $4 frames. I think that they're super pretty with the black and the raw wood. And I'm gonna print, um, and I'm gonna rip out the pages and stick them in here and then hang them in my kitchen, which I think is gonna be super cool. You know, this is gonna cost me $8 or yeah, $8 for that whole project. And if I were to buy a, you know, a couple of prints at even Hobby Lobby, it would cost me more than that. So really excited about that. And I'll be, it'll be super unique and not something everybody has. Um, and then also when I was there, I had to look at the dollar spot for some fall stuff. And I saw this really cute little bar towel. I love the like really skinny plaid on it. And I just recently put out my little tea cart. And so I thought this would be cute on there. Um, again, I just liked the pattern. I also picked up these little faux book stack. They say home sweet farmhouse. It was only $3. And my thing with this is obviously it's not real. Like it doesn't look like real books, but these kind of things are great to be like risers or we're doing our built-in shelves in the living room. And this would be great to stack on there just to fill space. Um, I like the white and the burlap and for three bucks, I mean, kind of seemed like a no brainer to me. There was only, that was the last one of those. Okay, I also picked up a couple of tea lights. This is a pack of 12 because I have these little lanterns I got from TJ Maxx and they need tea lights. So these were three bucks for 12 white little tea lights. So I thought might as well get those now. And I also got these little lights garland. They're like little fairy lights. And I have no idea where I'm gonna put these, but they were the last ones and they were only $3. And I thought I better get them and they'll go somewhere. I just don't know where yet, but I think even like inside of my cake stand with the cloche, like, I don't know, I have ideas. I think it'll be really cute. So I got that. And then last, I got this set of two risers. So you get this, this bigger one, and then there's a littler one in inside. And these were only five bucks. Um, I love risers for adding like height and kind of creating a um, what do they call it? Like a vignette. If you're doing some decor, you can just like put your little riser and then decorate on top of it. I actually thought this would be perfect in the guest bathroom. I took a like cake stand thing that I had in my office and put it in there, but I think that this is going to go better with the decor in there. So I'll put it in the middle of the two sinks and put like a little piece of greenery and the soap and stuff like that. I think it's going to be really cute and for five bucks it's already stained really nice so I don't have to do anything to it so anyways that is everything that I just picked up on my little target run I also got 
um, some cleaning spray and toothpaste because we needed that. But um, now I'm gonna just put together these little projects and see how they turn out. Okay, so I'm gonna be taking a couple of pages out of my Magnolia book. No offense, Jojo, I love you. Um, but I think these pages will serve me better if they are outside of this book. So I'm gonna be getting these two pages, the herbs and the herb parents. I'll try my best to rip them even. So I ripped out the pages and they weren't perfect. They did have some tearing kind of at the edge, but that doesn't bother me. I actually think it makes it look kind of cool and actually vintage, I don't know, but I put them in the frame and I thought they looked really good. I really like these frames for four bucks at Target. Honestly, it's really impressive. And then what I usually do if I'm gonna be doing nails into the wall is I do thumbtacks first to kind of measure out where I will want the wall hangings to go because thumbtacks don't leave a super big hole in the wall. So you can kind of assess the situation. And then when you get them in the right space, take the tacks out and hammer in the nails because this artwork I wanted to lay flat. So I really needed it to have nails and not just tacks. And once it was up, I thought it looked really good. So there it is, super easy. This project cost me $8 and I have a really cute little piece of decor on my wall. Um, and it goes, I think, really well with the thing I have above the door and my shelves over on this side because it's that black and wood. So love, love, and it's functional. So for this project, I just cut these little mounting squares into tiny little slivers, you can see, and then I used some of the same size um, clothespins, and I just stuck the clothespins on and then put each of the words on. So I'll need to fix them because they're going to be kind of crooked, but I just kind of wanted to see how it looks. We have to hang the mirror, so um, I'll probably have to fix it anyways, but you can kind of see what it looks like. So I hung this frame all by myself. I We bought like a picture hanging kit where you just drill the like loop hanging system into the um, window and then I used a wire and then two nails or two screws with drywall anchors in them and hung it up and there it is. So that is it for my quick little couple of affordable DIYs. I will link everything in the description box that I use in case y'all are looking to do something similar, but I highly encourage you to look through Pinterest for inspiration, but then kind of see how you could do something on your own at home that might like cost you less money. So anyways, if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see y'all in my next one.